August 23, 2014, Saturday of the 20th week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The angel led me to the gate which faces the east, and there I saw the glory of the God of Israel coming from the east. I heard a sound like the roaring of many waters, and the earth shone with his glory. The vision was like that which I had seen when he came to destroy the city, and like that which I had seen by the river Kiba. I fell prone as the glory of the Lord entered the temple by way of the gate which faces the east. But spirit lifted me up and brought me to the inner court, and I saw that the temple was filled with the glory of the Lord. Then I heard someone speaking to me from the temple while the man stood beside me. The voice said to me, Son of man, this is where my throne shall be. This is where I will set the soles of my feet. Here I will dwell among the children of Israel forever. The Word of the Lord. The Responsorial Psalm. The response is, The glory of the Lord will dwell in our land. I will hear what God proclaims, the Lord, for he proclaims peace. Near indeed is his salvation to those who fear him. Glory dwelling in our land. The glory of the Lord will dwell in our land. Kindness and truth shall meet. Justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. The glory of the Lord will dwell in our land. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him and salvation along the way of his steps. The glory of the Lord will dwell in our land. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus spoke to the crowds and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees have taken their seat on the chair of Moses. Therefore, do and observe all things whatsoever they tell you but do not follow their example. For they preach, but they do not practice. They tie up heavy burdens hard to carry and lay them on people's shoulders, but they will not lift a finger to move them. All their works are performed to be seen. They widen their phylacteries and lengthen their tassels. They love places of honor at banquets, seats of honor in synagogues, greetings in marketplaces, and the salutation, Rabbi. As for you, do not be called Rabbi. You have but one teacher, and you are all brothers. Call no one on earth your father. You have but one father in heaven. Do not be called Master. You have but one Master, the Christ. The greatest among you must be your servant. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, but whoever humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord.